Hey there, ever heard of the 1965 movie Girl Happy? If not, you're in for a treat. This flick stars Elvis Presley, who plays a musician named Rusty Wells. Rusty and his band are hired to watch over a mobster's daughter during spring break in Fort Lauderdale. But things don't go as planned when Rusty falls for a girl named Valerie. Now, here's the hook. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad moments in this film. So make sure you stick around to catch them all. Quick questions for you. Who's your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this movie? And is there a particular scene or moment that has stuck with you? We're also curious to hear your own cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie. Share them with us in the comments below. So, grab some popcorn and enjoy the ride with Girl Happy. Released in 1965, a certain film left a mark on audiences that still holds true today. It's remembered for its youthful energy, catchy songs, and memorable characters. The star of the movie, a famous actor, stole hearts with his performance. One reason this film remains relevant is its timeless themes of love, friendship, and adventure, which anyone can relate to. The soundtrack, featuring popular songs like Do the Clam and Puppet on a String, adds to its charm. In addition to entertaining, the film also offers a peek into the culture of the 1960s. It reflects the hope and innocence of the time while addressing topics that still matter today. Overall, the movie continues to delight audiences with its music, characters, and relatable themes. Its place in popular culture is solid, making it a beloved classic that will always be remembered. Directed by Boris Sago, a three-time Emmy nominee known for his extensive work in television, the 1965 film marked the beginning of Shelley Fabre leading lady roles alongside Elvis Presley. This collaboration continued in two subsequent films, Spin Out and Clambake. Fabre, recognized for her role in The Donna Reed Show and her hit record Johnny Angel, later gained fame for co-starring in the 1990s TV series Coach, earning two Emmy Award nominations. Another interesting tidbit involves Mary Ann Mobley, initially cast as the girl from UNCLE in 1966, but ultimately replaced by Stephanie Powers. Mobley's career took various turns, reflecting the dynamic nature of the entertainment industry. Tragically, director Boris Segal's career met an untimely end in 1982 when he lost his life in a helicopter accident while working on the TV film World War III. This event added a somber note to his noteworthy contributions to the world of entertainment. In summary, the collaboration between Elvis Presley and Shelley Fabry, coupled with the directorial work of Boris Segal, marked a significant chapter in the entertainment industry during that era. Elvis Presley had a big part in creating music for the film. He helped write the song You'll Be Gone, which was on the other side of the record with the hit Do the Clam. Elvis wrote the words for this song himself, showing that he was not only a singer, but also a songwriter. You can find this song on his collection of 60s recordings. Some beach scenes in the movie were actually from an older film called Where the Boys Are from 1960. They used these scenes to make the movie feel more complete and to blend the 60s energy with older movies. Elvis did more than just music for the film. He also helped with the writing of Heartbreak Hotel. This shows how he was talented in different parts of making movies. Elvis Presley made a big difference in Girl Happy, not just by acting in it. His music and ideas from other films helped make it exciting and fun to watch. In the 1990s, the VHS release of Girl Happy excluded the musical number starting tonight. However, it was reinstated in 2007. The film was strategically influenced by the popularity of rock groups during the Beatlemania era and the British invasion of 1964. To appeal to the burgeoning fan base of rock music, three band member characters were introduced, portrayed by Gary Crosby, Jimmy Hawkins, and Joby Baker. These additions aimed to attract younger viewers and capitalize on the success of films like A Hard Day's Night and Help. Shelley Fabry, Elvis Presley's co-star in Girl Happy, holds the unique distinction of being his romantic interest in three separate films. She remains the only female lead to achieve this feat in Elvis's filmography. In Girl Happy, Elvis sings with guitar in hand to a girl by the pool, reminiscent of scenes from Viva Las Vegas. Despite being set in Fort Lauderdale, the film's primary shooting took place at the MGM Studios in Hollywood, with beach scenes filmed in Southern California. Only second unit filming occurred in Fort Lauderdale. Interestingly, Elvis Presley, a huge fan of TV shows like The Jeffersons, Good Times, Happy Days, and Flip, brought his unique charm to this project. His presence added a special touch to the film, captivating audiences with his performance. Set against a backdrop reminiscent of the spring break scenes in Where the Boys Are, the movie enlisted the talent of choreographer David Winters, known for his work in Viva Las Vegas, 
Winters was tasked with choreographing a dance to the song Do the Clam, which enjoyed moderate success on the charts, but failed to capture widespread attention. Adding to the cast was Gary Crosby, son of the iconic Bing Crosby, portraying Elvis's friend Andy. References to cultural moments are integrated into the storyline of the 1965 movie. For example, the outfit worn by the character during the striptease scene might remind people of a famous bikini introduced in 1946. This particular bikini was designed by Louis Rayard and featured a newsprint pattern. Additionally, the song The Meanest Girl in Town in the movie wasn't originally made for it. It was written for Bill Haley and the Comets, and it was recorded in 1964 with the title, Yeah, She's Evil. Interestingly, the movie had other possible titles like Girl Crazy and The Only Way to Love. These references from real life add depth to the story and make the viewer's experience more engaging. In a storyline reminiscent of Spin Out, Rusty's band is coerced into performing for a young lady due to her wealthy father's machinations. Shelley Fabry portrays this young lady in both films. Rusty's character shares a name with Anne Margaret's character from Viva Las Vegas, released the year before. An interesting filming quirk occurs when Rusty backs up a boat trailer, creating a segmented, jumpy image as the scene is actually filmed with Rusty driving forward and then reversed. In Girl Happy, some of Elvis Presley's songs are slightly sped up, giving his voice a higher pitch. This change was intentional, aiming to inject an upbeat vibe into the title track, especially since the original version was perceived as lacking in that aspect. This alteration occurred during the recording process in June 1964, a period marked by Beatlemania. The decision to speed up the tape was an attempt by the record company to infuse Elvis with a sense of extra youth. Notably, 1964 saw Elvis failing to reach the top 10 with any of his six singles released that year. It wasn't until the 1990s that a properly mastered version of Girl Happy was released, correcting the speed issue. This tweak to the soundtrack album remained unnoticed until then, highlighting the studio's attempt to adapt to the musical landscape of the time. During the making of a film called Girl Happy, something really sad happened. One of the actresses, Shelley Fabre, lost her baby while they were shooting the movie. This made everyone on set feel really sad. It made things even harder because they were already working really hard to finish the movie on time. But despite this sad event, everyone kept going. They didn't give up, showing how dedicated they were to finishing the movie. It's a reminder that making movies isn't always easy, and sometimes real life problems can affect the people making them. This sad event also reminds us that life can be fragile, but people can be really strong when they need to be. Amidst the sunny backdrop of Fort Lauderdale, a rock singer finds himself tangled in the vibrant nightlife of the 1960s. During filming, the lead actor faced a personal tragedy as his mother passed away just days before production began. Despite the grief, he honored his commitment to the movie, showcasing his professionalism. Set against the beach scenery, the story follows him, and his bandmates tasked with keeping an eye on a nightclub owner's daughter during her vacation. As they navigate the beachside adventures, he finds himself falling for the charming Dina. The movie's soundtrack features catchy tunes performed by him, capturing the essence of the era. Despite personal challenges, he delivers a charismatic performance, charming audiences with his trademark smile and smooth vocals. This classic remains beloved among fans, highlighting his talent as both an actor and a singer. In the upbeat atmosphere of the 1965 movie, there's a sad story behind the scenes. Actress Shelley Fabre faced a tough time while filming because her fiancé, James Stacy had a bad motorcycle accident. He lost his left arm and leg. Despite this difficult situation, Fabre kept working on the film, showing great professionalism and strength. This sad event adds a deeper layer to the movie's history, reminding us that Hollywood isn't always glamorous. It shows that personal problems can mix with work, affecting everyone involved.